anything to say for yourself. Soko will be associated with Team Rocket, not if I have anything to say about it. And I just might. I'm a ten-year-old boy who doesn't know when to stop. No kids are allowed in here. I told you I don't know when to stop. And Team Rocket Grunt would like to fight. At least these Team Rockets have a little bit more variety about what kind of Pokemon they use. It's not always just a Zubat team, although the last guy almost was. Look, oh, Keybung. Uh, Zomja, this is your chance to shine. You can see Synthesis has been learned instead of Tackle. Uh, Synthesis is a healing move. It heals depending on the weather, how much it heals you. Uh, but I probably won't be using it too much. It can be effective, but I never really use the weather altering stats anyway. Gonna go for I believe Sunny Day will increase it, Sandstorm will lose it, that kind of stuff. But, we do get easy experience, and he's gonna switch to Zubat. Of course he is. After I complain that Team Rocket does use a lot of Zubats, he uses a Zubat. What are you gonna do? Hey, look, down goes the Zubat. It's so much lower level than I am. But I get the experience, and I've defeated Team Rocket Grunt. Tough! Indeed, I am. You have to say for yourself, diamond-shaped tiles are teleport blocks. They're transporters for this high-tech building. I assume you took the stairs. I already knew. Let's keep going, see what we were, what he was guarding over here and what we can find over here. We can open up another door with you. No, stop, help. Oh, you're not with Team Rocket. I'm sorry, I thought. Will you forgive me if I teach you the Thunder Wave technique? No, I will never forgive you. Oh, the Thunder Wave is convenient. It, it can be convenient. Uh, Thunder Wave is a move that instantly paralyzes your opponent. Uh, it works, you know, if you believe in the laws of numbers. 50% chance it won't attack, plus it reduces its speed by 50%. But then on top of that, if you pair it with a move that has a 50% with the opponent flinch, then they can only hit you a quarter of the time. It is annoying as hell when that happens to Alright, let's head down here. Uh, but I'm not going to be using Thunder Wave. I don't like it too much. Where we can find a scientist. Are you a good scientist or a bad scientist? Bad scientist. Help! I'm a sylphin for you! And there he is. Scientist Connor! Doesn't look like he's doing science. Looks like he's getting drunk out of his beaker. And he has a grammar output. So I have Fuzimi out front. As long as I get... Yeah, screw it. Let's do a dig. Let's do a dig. I should be able to kill it with a dig. As long as it doesn't try to evade. It goes for a sludge, but it misses. Incoming dig. I don't have to worry about the randomness of the magnitude. Down goes the Grimer. Down it goes. Give me the 500 experience. Enough for another level. Do you learn anything at this level? I'm, I'm waiting for him to learn something. It's not happening anytime soon. All right, switching over to Weezing. So I will switch over to Mr. Jensen, who is excellent at killing Weezings. Because he has proven time. And time again. Go Psychic. And down goes the Weezing. It is a very low level, so what did you expect? Shouldn't get enough of the level up here. No. This is closer than I thought, though. Switching over to a coughing, and Mr. Jensen is once again going to be my half of a Pokemon. What are you going to do? They give me a lot of coughing. They give me a lot of coughings and Weezings. And things that I don't trust my other Pokemon to kill. So Mr. Jinsey has to come in and mop up. Up to level 41. Three special attack, two speed. So close to 100 special attack. All right, he's going to switch to... Oh, easy. More Mr. Jinsey. Always more Mr. Jinsey. Another psychic. Will finish the job here. It's not difficult when you have something as powerful as Mr. Jensen. How did you know I was a rocket? You challenged me, dude. 
Well, he's got a lot of money, at least. Thoughts on what just happened here? I worked for both Sylph and Team Rocket. He was a spy the whole time. It's this one? It is. Here you can find an Ultra Ball. I will definitely take that. And we can head back over to the right. Wait, can I look at your paperwork? It's a blueprint of some sort. It's both with diagrams and text. So there's the new standard saying for him. It's off limits here. Go home. And we can find another bad scientist. You're getting drunk on the job. That is a prerequisite for working for Team Rocket. Getting sciencey drunk. Magnemite. So Fuzini is going to pretty much wreck out here. Magnitude 10. That should do more than enough damage. That could actually be enough to kill like three Magnemites in a row. That is a damn powerful magnitude plague you got going. All right, Voltorb. I think that Fuzini will still be faster than Voltorb. You know, eight levels different. Magnitude 10 again? Are you kidding me? You're using it on the Pokemon? Like, where was that against the Muck? Why couldn't you do that? You might have one-shotted that Muck that way. Alright, switch to Magneton. Watch, here's gonna be a Magnitude 4 and I'm not gonna be able to kill it. It's only level 28. Alright, what do we got this time? 7, not bad. Should still be enough. Ten is not all that great. It really just isn't. Nothing more I can say about it than that. Alright. Give me the experience. We're getting there, we're getting there. Down goes Jerry. You're good. Indeed, I am. Give me your money. Didn't you solve the maze in here? It's not easy, I tell you. I already did, essentially. Is he guarding anything back here? Uh, he is not. There is a teleporter, so it's cool. Like that end. I think we've looked at the picture. It's a pretty picture of a Pokemon. It looks like it's feeling good. Would you be a little more specific than that? I don't think we've checked out telephones either. It's a telephone. Better not use it. God forbid Team Rocket has to pay extra on their sprint bill. All right, we will head up here to the third floor. On the third floor, there's, you know, not too much different going on. Just a couple teleporters up front and a Team Rocket grunt down here. Quit messing with us, kid. This place is just full of Team Rocket. Uh, I will say, though, that it might be a little early to talk about it, but I figure I might as well talk about it now. Uh, regarding shiny Pokemon. A shiny Pokemon is a slightly different color uh, Pokemon. It makes a... Um, it, it sparkles whenever it shows up on screen, this shiny Pokemon. Yeah, there we go. Up to the next level. If I encounter one, I will let you know. I have actually never encountered one. Ever. I've seen other people encounter it. But I've never encountered one myself. Uh, should I ever encounter one, I will let you know. And I will most likely uh, consider catching it. I don't know. It depends. It depends. He's going for a head pump. I'm gonna finish it off with a bite here. I've got bites to spare. Super effective, but it would do a lot less damage than the strength. It would do a lot less damage than that. Uh, the encounter rate is something like 1 out of 8,000. So, chances are I'm probably not going to encounter a shiny. Uh, should I finish this dungeon and then encounter a shiny, I might use the, uh, the prize of this dungeon on the shiny. Because I don't really want to use either. But hey, you know, it, it would be one hell of an accomplishment to catch a shiny. I would love to do it. But even in all my level grinding, I've, I've never encountered a shiny. I give up. And I've played this game many times all the way through. It just doesn't happen for me. A hint? You can open doors with a card key. Hooray. Thank you for the hint. Let's see what this guy was guarding. Looks like, uh, not all that much. Work for Silco. What am I to do? Just stand there and don't get in my way. It's all complicated. Yeah, yeah, of course, it still makes no sense. I'm only 10, I don't get it. And here we can open this door up. Uh, there's nothing in other regions now. Right, but there is an item back there where we can find a hyper potion. I will take the hyper potion. And I bet you're. 
Wait, he looked straight at me, didn't he? Hmm. I have to talk to him? Okay. I support Team Rocket more than I support Silco. Yeah. When they're turning around, they're usually evil scientists. The drunken scientists. Scientist Jose! He has an electron. So I have to see me. And as long as I'm faster, which I am. Back to six? Ooh. Not sure that's going to be enough. Oh, nope. Oh, it is if it's a critical. There we go. Down goes the Electro. I didn't think that would normally be enough. A lot of experience for Fuzini, though. Know? Wheezing, really. I was having fun with my Fuzini. Now I gotta level up Mr. Gentsy a little bit more. And don't mess around with coughings and wheezings. You never know when they're going to explode on you. Even if they're the last Pokemon, don't do that. Just to spite you. Like, I may lose. You're gonna lose one too! Sucks, I hate it. Down goes the Weezing. Just always one shot Weezing. I recommend the Psychic. Down goes Jose. You really got me! 1,392 Pokebucks coming my way. Oh, Team Rocket said that if I helped them, they'd let me study Pokemon. You probably could have done that without their help. Let's see what else we can find on this floor. I don't think there's much. There's nothing over here, save the teleporter, but if you head over here, you can find protein. And we'll take the protein. Yeah, that's shinies. If I encounter one, I'll, I'll probably just catch it just to say that I caught one. Because <laughs> I've never even encountered one. So we'll see, we'll see. We'll head down here for the time being. Now, find this guy, Intruder Spotted. Let's see if you can do anything about it, though. That is an entirely different thing. Okay, he's got an Ekans. He's got Fuzini. We have to go through the Intimidate thing again. It always does that, but good magnitude should do the trick here. Six might not do it now that my attack has been cut. Nope, still fine, still fine. Hope he doesn't switch to another Ekans or, or Arbok here. I don't want to lower my... Uh, I don't want to lower my attack again. Cube should be the trick here. Cube should be fine. Should do more than enough damage when to do that. Especially when I'm so low level. It's kind of hard to say when I'm supposed to do Saffron City based on the levels because the levels change, right? Fighting Dojo had higher levels than this part, and then what happens after this is like ridiculously high level than this. Alright, switching over to Cubone, and Sanja gets a little bit of screen time, which is always good. Go Sanja. I could be using Deep Six as well, but like I said, I'm not sure how I'm going to use Deep Six in the future. Have not decided. Might be able to find a better water Pokemon, you know? Might be able to find isn't as poor in its initial stage. Down goes the Team Rocket Grunt. Who are you? I am Dumpus. You should know that. I better tell the boss I'm the 11th floor and he spilled the beans. Why would you do that? Let's see what he was guarding. He was guarding TM41. Torment. Not my favorite move. Once again, Kind of one of those moves that is much better in multiplayer than it is in single player, uh, simply because of the single player AI. Uh, Torment, it enrages the foe, making it incapable of using the same move successfully. Successively. Well, successfully too. But uh, the way that it works is it uses, a, you, your opponent uses a move, you use Torment, now it can't use uh, that same move. Again. I'm not a big fan of this. Not that big of a thing. All right, we will head out. See what else is on this floor, like this guy. Easily avoidable, but I'm going to take him on anyway. Team Rocket has taken control of Silco. In case you were unaware of the situation, but Team Rocket has Machop out front. So Lord Yawn finally gets some some time to shine. Go fly. Jump high into the air. Fly however it is that you fly. And then land and take out the Machop. Yeah. 
easily done. You take out higher level ones than that in the dojo with Lord Yon. Not that great of experience now. Alright, switching over to a drowsy, so I will switch uh, to my... Actually, no. Let's try it with Lord Yon. We will see what Lord Yon can do against it. Lord Yon can be an effective psychic killer. We'll go with tri attack <laughs> see what we can do with that. Is that going to do enough damage? Probably not. No, it does. There's Lord Yon. Don't underestimate Lord Yon here. And down goes yet another Team Rocket Grunt. Arg! Indeed, Arg! Give me your money. I'm so rich. My boss has been after this place. Good for him. And what were you guarding up here? Bingo, the card key opened the door. This quite often. But there's much going on here. My Pokemon is my loyal servant. Apparently he's just got one Pokemon. Here we'll see what it is. Whether or not it's effective or not. Rodney the Drunk would like to fight. He's got Electrode. That's not very strong. I've got Fuzimi. Electrode might be faster though. Yeah, because for Sonic Boom, 20 damage. Now you're two, nine. More than enough to take out the Electrode. More than enough. Electrode. The fastest Pokemon. But, there's very few moves that are effective against Fuzimi, except possibly self destruct, which I just thought of right now. We got lucky, Fuzimi. We got very lucky. Do attack four speed. I will take the four speed. You're probably faster than the Electro now, aren't you? And down goes Rodney. Darn, you weak Pokemon. Give me your money. Rich scientists. 